Oh, hey, how you doing? Lazy Eyed Modeler here. Just catching up on my scale auto with a great article from Tim Boyd on the 48 Ford Coupe coming out from Galaxy Limited. That's uh, coming off the tooling from the uh, sedan delivery in the in the sedan. Anyway, you guys getting tired of NNLE's pictures? That's a lot of footage, isn't it? And I really appreciate all the comments you guys have been giving me over the, the coverage of that. And it's funny, as long as all that is strung together, there's still times when I'm looking at my coverage there and looking at the videos and saying, no, 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 go back to that car, you're skipping that car, or uh, pull back, show that car some more, and stuff like that, you know. You just can't cover a show that big and cover it as much as you'd really like to, so... Anyway, I really appreciate the comments all of you have been leaving. I'm, you seem to be enjoying it. And I'm, that was what I set out to do, and I'm really happy that you guys seem to be happy with the coverage. It was a great show. And uh, just for uh, an FYI, the last little bit of the um, episode 9, the guys in the black shirts with the orange writing on it, that's fellow TAPS members that I traveled down to. New Jersey with from Ontario and uh, we had a great time, a lot of carrying on and all that. So, But anyway, the whole uh, idea of this video is going to be showing you my haul that I picked up while I was down there. So I'm going to stop this camera right now and I'll turn it around and so I can show more clearly than sitting back here holding stuff up and showing you, oh look, this is what I got. So just hang on a minute, I'll stop the camera, and then we'll uh, we'll look at my NNL East haul, okay? Hang on. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's the first item uh, that I'm going to show you. It's the pretty recent release of the 1956 Chrysler 300B in 125th scale by Mobius Models. Uh, if any of you have done the Hudson's or the uh, B300, the original, the 55, you know what quality these uh, Mobius kits are. They basically have just knocked everything out of the ballpark pretty much as far as uh, model design, uh, kit instructions, the whole nine yards if you've never seen a Mobius kit pardon me you really should uh, put the money aside they're a little more expensive but boy they're uh, almost to me a type quality out of a North American uh, manufacturer with North American subjects and um, if you've seen any pictures out of NNL East I didn't when I was filming I couldn't get close enough to their booth for you to see the releases, but they're coming out with a 65 Belvedere, I think it is, uh, two 50 different 54 Hudsons, um, 61 Pontiac Ventura and Catalina, 65 Comet, in a range of Ford pickups from the late 60s into the early 70s. They had some built ups there for people to see and I'll tell you those pickups are going to be sweet and really they just seem to sweat the details and so all I can say is if you see this kit or any of the Hudson's or the 55 Chrysler's do yourself a favor and pick up at least one and, and, and try building one because they're just sweet kits so that's item number one item number two is the Revell 50 Olds Custom and uh, I bought that as a base kit for something else that you'll see in a few minutes uh, picked it up for what I thought was a good price and so that's that and who can resist a bugaboo I didn't go in there, I didn't go into the show or the vendor's rooms looking for a bugaboo. 
and I'm having fun by the way saying bugaboo um, I didn't go in looking for one but I, I remember seeing it was coming out and I thought geez that'd be neat and then when I saw it in person it's like okay that has to come home with me I'm not a real drag racing fan but I do like Volkswagen Beetles and this is so outrageous how can you resist I mean that's just too cool eh and that's part of the fun of modeling is neat stuff like that I don't know how accurate it is but I don't really care okay now generally when I'm going to one of these shows I'm looking more for aftermarket and whatnot so what I have here coming up next is resin wheels and tires now unfortunately as I've stated before my uh, camera is not the best and I don't know how much it's going to focus it probably isn't but these are pie crust slicks really nicely done with the writing on the side race master dragster slicks and they're cheater slicks oh come on camera no sorry for the blurriness but they're cheater slicks so they have the grooves going down the side and these are made in soft resin just really sweet by Ma's resin like your Ma you know your Ma and your Pa Ma's resin Alan Rabb he does excellent work and so I have different sizes of these and types of these cheater slicks and then these I should have cleaned up before I showed them to you but um, oh god that's that's not really picking anything up I do have to get a better filming camera you can sort of see it there these are model AA Ford model AA trucks tires and wheels so we're talking 29 to 30 for making a full-size truck as opposed to just a pickup and that's basically what these are in some nice um, um, okay. Uh huh. Anyway, and I have some thinner cheater slicks too, which are appropriate for uh, stock uh, class of the early '60s. The or limited to seven inch. Anyway, carrying on, we'll get these out of the way. One of the big resin suppliers that was there was Replicas and Miniatures, and you really have to at some point treat yourself to some of their stuff. This time, most of what I wanted by the time I got to, the, to their booth was already gone. This, however, is a diamond button tough interior for the Revell 57 Ford. It has a front and rear bench seats, interior side panels, separate armrest door handles, and window cranks. It's a 12 piece kit for $16.95. And I think you can basically see the diamond tufting uh, pattern on the split seat there that we're looking at. Now he, he does offer another kit, the same basic kit, but it has 821 buttons if you have advanced Mahler syndrome and you want to put each button on separately. I'm not that uh, obsessed, so this looks fine to me. It should look good in a mild 57 Ford Custom. Now, one of the best new resin casters out there is Chris Morgan from Morgan Automotive Detail. I have uh, two or three of his kits previous to this, 
and here's another one that I picked up at NL East so you can see it's a 49 chop mercury woody wagon so it's basically just a chop body to go on the recently released uh, 49 mercury wagon from Ravel and there's the body you can tell that lid has been chopped it's much narrower opening but they use a very nice white uh, resin and as it comes when you buy it from Chris it's already pretty much cleaned up there's just a little bit of cleanup work left to do before it's ready to be washed and painted so I'm seeing this with a more modern engine and wheel set and lower down some I think that should be really cool and also from Morgan Automotive Detailing a 71 to 73 Pinto wagon I mean, call me a geek, but how cool is that? Hey, I love wagons. And I don't know, I, I know their reputation and all that, but I just thought the styling of the early Pintos was actually quite nice. I might be the only one, I don't know. But anyway, and so, as you can see from the picture, and I'm not going to open this box, but as you can see from the picture, this kit includes the body, interior tubs, seats, um, rear um, differential, axle, springs, uh, dashboard, chrome parts, clear parts for especially the windshield. It's pretty much a complete kit. You need one of the AMT MPC Pinto kits to complete the whole deal, but there again you can let your imagination go and uh, Hey, Pro Touring Pinto Wagon? That could be interesting. Next up is a kit I tried to get last year in Detroit and I missed it and I was happy to get it this year. This is by Motor City Resin Casters. It's a 73 to 74 Ford Econoline. Now my father, my grandfather established a hardware store back in the 20s and my father and my uncle took it over eventually and this, the second van they had in the business was one of these I think it was actually a tad earlier than this, I think it was a 71 or 72 but this is close enough for me because this is the only one that you will be able to find in 125th scale it also comes with um, the interior chassis you can see the parts with the uh, rear axle some front suspension dash steering wheel and then you need a um, the van fantastic kit that came out recently to get the um, the wheels the engine you know the, the parts to finish the whole van up um, mine is currently being turned to a zombie hunter so I'll have to pick up another kit to do this but I was really excited when I heard this was announced ours was sort of a school boss yellow color with the uh, um, pro hardware graphics on it and I hope to replicate that someday so I one thing about resin if you see it and you can afford it you should buy it because you never know when that resin caster is going to either give up on his molds or just be out of business these guys I think will be around for quite a while but I wasn't taking my chances and then from Missing Link a 54 a 50 let's try that again a 1950 Oldsmobile convertible to convert that old skit that I showed you a few minutes ago into a convertible and I intend to do it as a very very mild custom lowered down with the parts from the from the uh, custom molds kit there so 
it's uh, it should be sweet anyway in case you guys don't know and, and for those who are interested in, in resin missing link Motor City Resin Casters, Morgan Automotive Detailing and Scale Modeling by Chris are known as the DAM Group and I'm not cursing is D-A-A-M Detroit Area Auto Modelers and they all produce excellent product if you want to get into resin they're some of the best resin kits after Model House and Replicas and Miniatures that you can find now as you see in this one there's some flash in the windows that have to be cleared out but otherwise this is really quite clean and pretty much ready to go and then it contains seats the convertible boot and the side panels because side panels in a convertible are different than side panels in a coupe or a sedan or whatever And last but not least is a 1944 pickup 125th scale. This is done by RMR Resin, Race Motor Replica Resin. Uh, he does a lot of trucks. He does a series of buses and then some cool uh, car conversions as well. If you remember in video 9, as we went through the vendor's room, I stopped briefly looking at a extended wheelbase 40 Ford that was uh, like a tourist coach. That is his product. And this is a 125th scale resin pickup. Now, as many of you probably know, the only 40 Ford pickup is in 124 scale for monogram. And it's a great kit, but it just looks big next to all the rest of your 40 Fords. And I really want wanted a 125th scale 40 Ford to go with 125th scale 40 Fords. <clears throat> anyway, this one is uh, basically, I, I would say, a custom, because I, I'm pretty sure that roof is, has been chopped, and there's no center divider so it's going to be a rod or a custom however you want to phrase it but uh, it just it should just look cool in the collection anyway my friends I believe that's pretty much everything that I picked up at NNL East besides the goodie bags and whatnot which I I believe Dirk Pitt showed in his video so that concludes our one our NNL East video. And I'll just point this at me. I guess this is what you call a selfie and I hope I'm looking at the camera but that does conclude the NNL East coverage. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. I had fun doing it and uh, next up is going to be something different that you might want to bring your ladies to come see the video because it's going to be um, a craft item done by Mrs. Lady, Lazy Eye Modeler and many of her friends and uh, we'll present that in a few days so anyway hope everybody had fun watching NNL East it was a great time I had a great time there and uh, maybe we'll do it again next year in the meantime everybody take care and have fun and keep whacking that plastic see ya Bye.